We all know that human activities are changing the atmosphere in unexpected and in unprecedented ways. But why some say the moon? Why choose this as our goal? And they may well ask, why climb the highest mountain? Why, 35 years ago, fly the Atlantic? Why does Rice play Texas? We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Part of what's unique about climate change, though, is the nature of some of the opposition to action. It's pretty rare that you'll encounter somebody who says the problem you're trying to solve simply doesn't exist. When President Kennedy sets us on a, uh, set us on a course for the moon, there were a number of people who made a serious case that it wouldn't be worth it. It was going to be too expensive. It was going to be too hard. It would take too long. But nobody ignored the science. I don't remember anybody saying that the moon wasn't there or that it was made of cheese. Today's Congress, though, is full of folks who stubbornly and automatically reject the scientific evidence about climate change. They will tell you it is a hoax or a fad. So Obama's talking about all of this with the global warming and the, that, and a lot of it's a hoax. It's a hoax. I mean, it's a money-making industry, okay? It's a hoax. It came ashore overnight as a ferocious Category 4 storm with winds of 130 miles per hour near... I think Rock this 50 inches of... I can't even picture 50... How many raindrops is that? 50 inches of rain in Houston. This is, this is a shot across our bow. A hurricane, the width of Florida, going up the center of Florida. These are, these are shots across our bow. That at what, what will it take? for people to recognize that a community of scientists are learning objective truths about the natural world and that you can benefit from knowing about it. Science is more than a body of knowledge. It's a way of thinking. It's not just defending science. It's having enough scientists and engineers to solve problems in the near future. And this is why I'm so concerned about climate change, is that's gonna be the biggest problem everybody's gonna face in the next few decades. Science is in fact storytelling, just the same way that art is. They're just two different modes of telling stories to each other about how the world works.